Good evening, it is so late right now, but do you remember this track map transitions for OBS Studio that I dropped a couple months ago, I think? I don't know. And I want to take that concept and turn it into something else. I'm constantly looking for new ways to display basic information like alerts, your stream alerts. And what I have right now on my live stream is this border. You can see like a black border around everything. And the point of that is to have some sort of animation go off every time I get an alert, depending on the alert, there's a different color. And I'm thinking of combining those two techniques. I don't think I've ever revealed how I made the first one, but basically Adobe After Effects has this filter called Chatter. And that's pretty much it. Something very interesting that happened the first time I used this was, you know, the rest of the wall showing up, which is why I had to animate it to zoom in so we don't see those walls. But in that case, this is going to be great. <laughs> like this is exactly what we need. We need a little bit of the, the screen to stay on. So what we need is for this to be smaller, definitely, and to happen in a corner. If you haven't figured it out by now, we're basically going to use um, white as a luma mask to reveal and black is going to hide and we're just going to apply that to whatever we have whether it's our camera or our gameplay okay so i'm going to settle for this animation right there i think that looks pretty good i don't like these two <laughs> just being behind like that so i'm probably going to get rid of that now i'm going to create the full mask because of course um we want the rest to be visible And that's it. It's that easy. So white reveal, black hides. Imagine this is your gameplay. And then the top right corner shatters. Just boom in the corner here. Then it drops down a little bit. And then I need to decide how does it end? Because now we have a hole. Uh, how does it go back to normal? So you can just continue to stream after the alert. We'll figure that out. I'm guessing probably reversing it and it'll be that simple. All right, now we'll see how quick it goes back and it slows down. Oh, there's definitely a part that I don't wanna see in there. So I need to cut it right before. There it is, that simple. Okay, now we need to export this. Since it's a Luma mat or alpha mask or whatever you wanna call it, it doesn't need to be like WebM or whatever. It can just be an MP4 file. So I'm gonna export it as MP4 because if you would like to modify it, it's easier to work with. All right, now we're back in OBS Studio. We're gonna test our theory. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of that border, which was just an advanced mask. Bloop, and there it is. And just for testing purposes, we are going to add our video because that's what it is, just a video file. Uh, it'll be a media source right there called Chatter Video. Let's go find it. When I told you it was late, it is currently 4.34 am i need to get this video done okay we have it i'm gonna put it in a loop for now and we're gonna have a look at it nice so after 10 seconds all right i'm gonna drag that all the way to the bottom then i'm gonna add another advanced mask call it shatter advanced mask uh, the mask type will be a source the source will be shatter video and in channel parameters it's going to be the luminosity there it is okay 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 now we should see it do its thing okay so that's the type of effect so behind it what you're seeing the yellow here is just the color source that i had from the other alerts so you can put whatever color you want you can also decide to not put any color just leave it black i turned that off and uh you see you even get a little bit of like 3d border here which is pretty nice okay so the theory works how do we actually put it into actual practice to trigger when there is an alert. And I believe there's two ways of doing this. Uh, one, you can just have your normal alert box and then use something like StreamerBot to trigger this video. Now do remember that white reveals and black hides, which means that when you turn off the video, which is the mask, your gameplay goes away and you don't want that. So technically you would want this to be in a group with another white source. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So color source, call it shatter back white. Make sure it is pure white like that. Make sure it fits the screen and we're gonna drag it down. I'm gonna put it behind our shatter video. I'm gonna select this and the shatter video holding shift, group selected items and call this one shatter group alpha. Nice, now just to make sure you understand, I'm going to show you what that animation basically would look like. So while it's playing, we have that black part for transparency, but of course it wouldn't be in a loop. So if I turn off the loop here, it basically will stop after 10 seconds and then it will go back to the white, right? So boom, now it's white because it's not activated. So in StreamerBot, we would make it visible 
play for the 10 seconds, it would stop by itself like it just did, and then we would turn it off. So right now it's off. And then, since it repeats when you turn it back on, we would just tell Streamabot, hey, turn it on. That's the alert. It plays its thing, it does its little thing, and then it goes back, and we're good. And then turn it off. Scatman's world is the place to- And the advantage here is, since we have a white background, is, well, your gameplay is still gonna be visible after the alert, basically. White reveals, so full white after the alert means that the whole thing is visible. So in Streamabot, I would create a new action. So right click, add under the action tab, call this uh, shatter alert. I would right click under sub action, go to OBS, find sources, and it will be set source visibility state. The scene is game. The source is actually shatter video. Nice. We know that it lasts 10 seconds. So we will give it a uh, right click core delay. We'll give it 11 seconds. And then I'll just duplicate this, duplicate the sub action, double click, and just make it hidden instead of visible. And uh, fun fact, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is check your triggers. So if you're using Twitch, you can trigger that with a channel point reward, with a follow, with just someone typing something in chat, with uh, subs, with raids, with bits, everything. If you're using YouTube, uh, it's right there. I get a lot of people being like, why do you make tutorials only on Twitch? Why not YouTube? Because it's the same thing. Is that I, I happen to use Twitch, but uh, the difference between this tutorial about Twitch and YouTube is just that you hover over YouTube instead of Twitch. That's it. Same thing. Someone types something in chat. Uh, you get a membership. You get a new subscriber, channel membership, all that good stuff. I'm actually going to set it to a command just to test it. So it's going to be core commands and command triggered. I'm going to create a command. So name it shatter, exclamation mark shatter. And there you go. That's the trigger. So I right clicked under trigger to get that to happen. So now if I go to Twitch chat and I type exclamation mark uh, shatter. There it is. Just like that. Very simple. Of course, um, we had set our advanced mask. That's a plugin, by the way, you need to download that. And you see that it comes back and then it's reset it now. If I actually check the group, you will see it's turned off. So it's working perfectly and it's very like it's that simple, really. Which means that on your side, you would have a stream elements or a Streamlabs alert just behind your gameplay to just appear when that happens. But you might run into sync problems. But before that, we wanna go back to that mask that we added. And of course, right now, the source is going to be the group that we created. And it's called Shatter Group Alpha. There we go. So now if I type exclamation mark Shatter, boom, it's gonna break. It's gonna stay 10 seconds and then it's going to reset itself back to normal. If you wanna have that on your camera, on your full screen, so you would just wanna add that same advanced mask to your camera. All right, finally, let's uh, try to find another solution that might be a little bit more reliable. If you're not using Streamabot for all of your alerts, might as well actually use whatever service you're using for alerts. In my case, it's gonna be Stream Elements, and maybe we can trigger that actual animation through stream elements directly. Here I am outside the world of Scatman. All right, so let's head to stream elements. We're gonna go to our dashboard. You're gonna log in with your Twitch account. I'm going to go to streaming tools on the left here, click on overlay. And basically you want two different overlays. You want one that's just going to be that animation. So new overlay, 1080p is great. I'm immediately gonna name it, call it chatter alpha and i'm gonna add a widget and that's going to be an alert box now you got to be really careful with this because th this alert box basically gives you a bunch of default alerts they all have animations they all have text and they all have sound right now i'm just gonna set this up for follow alert because it would take too long to just do it for all of them so under follow alert here i am going to make sure that i clear the video i'm gonna get rid of the video and I'm going to clear the sound, very important. I'm also gonna make sure that I have text over image right there. Alert duration, 10 seconds. That's fine by me. I'm going to change video. And this is where we will upload uh, the video we created. Click upload, drag, drop it in there. Okay, here it is, click submit, and you have it. Now, something to keep in mind is that your canvas is actually not 1080p right now, like the canvas is, but not the alert. So we need to click on the X to close it and then go to position, size and style. We're gonna set that to 1080p or whatever size your screen is. And now it should be good. We can go back to settings. We can go back here, make sure that it's playing. There we go. Now there's the text. You want to go ahead and delete that because you don't want any text to show. And we can see that the timing was pretty perfect here. Let me click follower event. 
that's it that's that's all we need for this one and we're going to add it as a browser source so go ahead top right well once this is done go ahead top right and click save okay and then also copy the url all right go back to your obs studio and add a browser source so source browser call this one um shatter video browser make sure that the video is 1080p 1920 by 1080 that is and paste that link that you just copied so now you basically have a layer that is you know transparent um, with that white video that will show up only when you get a new follower which means that you do need a white background we already created it but you get the point so you need to put that in a group with a white background so when it's not on when there's nothing happening it still needs to be white because that's the mask white reveals black hides in this particular case so otherwise like your gameplay would be transparent you don't want that so i'm gonna bring that down and i'm just gonna put it in the group i think you get the point if you paid attention earlier and if you didn't just to demonstrate so right now i have this but if i do test it i get my animation now don't worry about this this is an actual alert for my actual stream <laughs> but our animation just plays the way it's supposed to again the gameplay needs an advanced mask the mask type should be source and the source should be the group the group that has the white background that you see here and that shatter video browser source which i named shatter group alpha which means that now if i test it for real for real it should crumble from the browser source which is chef's kiss I didn't go back in. Perfect. All right. And for the second overlay, because I did tell you, you need two overlays in stream element. But just to make sure that you understand, if you don't have any alerts set up yet for some reason, I'm going to make sure I save, go back, create a new overlay. And I'm just going to put the default alert box. So it's going to be very, very simple. Um, add widget, alert, alert box. And, um, and yeah, look at that. So you just need to place this behind... The other thing <laughs> the other thing so save copy url back to obs add a browser source name it appropriately paste that link uh this one doesn't have to be 1080 it can just be its normal size and we want to place it right underneath the gameplay and then we'll have to test it to play around with the size to make sure that it fits so if i do emulate a follower event for example you see how it reveals it now i can drag it and it'll basically be here and again if you want to put a color so it's not black you can just put a color source right behind that layer okay so the gameplay will be on top the alert and then underneath it whatever color layer you want i happen to already have colors here from my previous alert so if we do one more test it should look purple there you go so I'm guessing if you're watching this, you most likely already have your alert box so you can, you know, skip making a new alert box. It's just a cool little thing that you can add to uh, reveal said alert box, something a little original that you don't see everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and also add it to my camera for this one. So this is my regular setup. I just need to turn off the this advanced mask. We don't even have to replicate anything. We can just go back here. I'm going to go to filters on the game group and I'm just going to copy this advanced mask copy and then put it on my camera group uh, right click and paste so the source is shadow group alpha i don't think you even need to copy the group into your full screen i think if you have the group in one scene it's all you need so we can test it right now although you do need to place the alert box so i'm gonna copy that alert behind shatter i'm gonna control c go back here and control v make sure it's underneath my camera and proceed to test It's that easy. It's really that easy. And it builds itself back together. I love it. I kind of love it. Am I going to use it for my own stream? I'm not sure. I might have to tweak it a little bit. But if you guys, like, all you needed to, to do this was the, that video, right, that I created in Adobe After Effects. And if you want it, uh, it'll be online. I'm going to put it uh, in the description. Just click the link, download it, and you'll have it for free absolutely free it's just a black and white video that you can use with the advanced mask plugin that's a that's a plugin you need to download that find it google advanced mask obs you'll have it i believe in you you got this all right let's record a quick video for twitter hey i'm gal level and i just created this animation 
I know it doesn't seem impressive, but if you use it as a mask on your webcam or your gameplay on your live streams, and you place your alert box behind it, you'll get something that looks like this. And after 10 seconds, it will build itself back up. And with gameplay, it'll look like this. And again, reconstructing itself after 10 seconds. It's actually cutting into the gameplay, so if you want to put a color source, you can absolutely do that and have some color pop up. And the whole thing was made from just one MP4 video that I created and I will make available to you for free. Make sure you watch the full video on YouTube and uh, click the link in the description. And there you have it. If you have any questions or any ideas, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, like, share this with your streamer friends, and I'll see you next time. Get level out.